Hey guys, I have a complete uh, disk writer and printer and server and robot, an entire um, working package for, for sale. Uh, and also got plenty of um, spare ribbons and even discs. So if you if you if you want it then it will come and it will be ready to work and start printing immediately um, it's going to go on eBay I've noticed on eBay most of the ones uh, that are put up there they don't have the server and so people are going to get them and find that oh my god you know what do I do now because you need the production software and uh, the server and uh, the firewire cables and everything so uh, this is going to be the entire the entire package. Um, it produces really nice quality uh, uh, discs, photographic quality. Let me just just the focus. Pull on a second. You can see oh, you can see that, but it's very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm not a disc pirater. <laughs> But I've knocked these off just to show them. I've made a video of, uh, of these being produced, so I'm going to hand these out to some friends. It's a nice uh, jazz singer, in fact. It's, it's quite good. Um, so, yeah. I have, uh, it also comes with, and you, um, you'll see the, the video, but I have um, the retransfer ribbon, which is a thousand, a thousand discs. And there's, a, there's enough in the, in the system to do to do 500 uh, as well. So there's about, about 1,500 of the tra retransfer ribbons. And um, these are the color ribbons. And each of these do about 500 discs. And I've got four of, uh, four of these. And there's, there's some in the, in the system as, as well. So that's enough for 2,000 2, labels like um, that of, of the color and 1500 labels with, with with that so you've definitely got enough for 1500 discs um so you should be able to get your money back on on this uh on this this kit it's really it's, a, it's an entire uh, it's an entire business i've also got um i've got there's about i don't know there's 150 160 um printable cds there um, which is, these are the ones that, have, that I've done. I've done these on. So, yeah, it's a really, really nice piece of kit. Uh, the CDs, the CD writer is, is a touch slow, and probably could be upgraded uh, because that's the only bottleneck. Otherwise, it's it, it, it runs really. You'll see. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll I'll stitch the videos together and. Um, You'll have a look. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the Amiga 2 automated CD uh, CD writer and um, label printer. It produces you know, the classic uh, photo finish. Um, at the moment, it's got a, a CD writer in. Um, it's fairly slow, is this one? But I mean, you can leave them running all night. Um, but it would be easy enough to just whip this out and update it for um, a DVD. These are the carousels that uh, that hold the um, hold the CDs and hold the um, the finished product. Um, it's run by a, a Dell PowerEdge 700. So in fact, you'll get the whole kit. So it means that in fact you can you can start immediately. And we've got plenty of spares of the of the of the discs and plenty of spares of, um, of of the ribbons. So um, yeah, let's just see if we can get it to run with the door with the door open. Okay, so it's downloading the image and um, yeah, putting it into the into the writer. There's the bottleneck for us with the slow CD writer, but. You can get them a heck of a lot faster than these nowadays. This is quite an old one. I've set the batch uh, to 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 do four, so that um, you can see how how it uh, uses its time efficiently. 
uh, writing the disc and uh, printing the label of the previous one so we'll just watch it run of course normally you wouldn't be watching it you would just be letting it get up, go about its business that's the whole point of having um, this robot Okay, so we'll have a look at the, the software now. And, um, yeah, sorry that it's not great. I've just got the webcam pointing at the, um, at the monitor. Um, this is QuickDisk. And what we have here is the, um, the tracks that have been built up. And here, this gives us the, um, the location of the uh, of, of, of the where the um, the label is has been, has been created in the um, in the disk label software and um, this gives us an estimation as to how much space is left on the on the CD we could put more more tracks on it um, To actually get it started, we submit it as a project, and so once we're happy with our 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 label and our files, if we click submit, we can set the number of copies, and um, if we if we click OK, then it sends it to this window here, and. Um, the production system it messages it messages the production system and the production system then uh, sends it uh, to the to the robot and um, everything just starts um, this is the production server you can see down here it's um, it knows how many disks are in all the bins yeah, and uh, here we would get if we if if we submitted this job from QuickDisk, it would appear here, and then it would tell us everything that it's um, that it's doing. This is running in attended uh, mode, um, but obviously if you were going to uh, to to leave it running, you'd leave it in unattended, and you could then go off, and it would email you if there was a problem. So you would be able to uh, pop back, solve the problem, and um, and leave it to continue to continue running.
here up here is the link to CD designer and um, yeah you, uh, you import your picture and um, you put it on there and make your adjustments and everything you know as you'd expect it's easy to it is to do is that so that's, that's basically it um, you have to start the 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 robot um, printer first before you switch the the computer on before you boot up the computer and that's just one of the strange things um, of the system the, the the robot has to be running and then you can boot up the computer and it will it will if you leave it it will gradually it will gradually launch the production server and set everything up it will count all the uh, disks in the bin everything will be ready and then if there are any jobs that are to be done it will just start doing them otherwise you will launch um, your quick disk and create your uh, create your job and off it goes it's quite quick once it's once it gets going once it's uh, once it's downloaded the image it's, it's using a firewire to uh, transfer um, the 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 image data to to the CD so it's as fast as it can be really it's held up at the moment by the slow speed of the CD writer but it's fine if you're if you're leaving it once it's running you don't it doesn't really matter um, it just gets on with it and, and you don't notice the, the, the speed okay so we'll have a look at the, the cables um, there's the the power cable down here sorry it's dark but anyway it's just an ordinary power cable and the switch at the bottom and uh, yeah this has got to be started at first before you start the the, um, the server um, here we have the firewire and the com1 cable coming from the the server and um, this cable connects up to the the printer the the, the printer is on the top here and um, this is a USB USB cable here we have um, I don't know, let me just turn up the uh, the exposure a bit yeah you can see that dial there it's a tiny little switch just here and um, that is set to position one to use the robot if you want to use the printer just on its own then um, then you can set it to zero okay so if you set it to so switch it off set it to zero um, boot it up and uh, and then it'll be just using the, um, the the printer manually I have the CD designer software suite and the um, installation I can't even see it's, the gain's too high but um, the installation install disk for the for the printer and the CD designer software suite, but the um, the software, uh, the production software, is all on the on the server, and so you're going to need to make sure that it's backed up well, um, because I don't have the install disks for uh, for the production software. Uh, however, it is a very reliable piece of kit. Is the PowerEdge 700, so uh, hopefully you shouldn't have any any problems. But yeah. Um, make sure you try and um, image it, and um, so that so that uh, if there is any problem, you, you've 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 got the software uh, to go. Right. Okay. So, we're going to open up the printer now, and this you you press these two buttons down uh, together, and then pull back. So, press down, and then it just the, the lid just drops back. You have all the um, let me turn the game down a touch. You have all the instructions to tell you how to change the ribbons. We've got plenty of ribbons. Um, so, uh, at any rate, it's these switches here, and here, and here. And um, this, this just slides out. And you can see we've got... Well, you can see there we've, we've got um, a bit of the, of the, of the colour color ribbon uh, I don't know how many discs it's, um, it's it's got left on it 
I don't know, maybe, maybe 30 or 50, I'm not sure. But at any rate, there. So that goes in and then the the switch goes switch goes down. That, 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 you can take that out completely. And this one, it has a switch here and a switch here. And this is quite stiff, so you've got to kind of push it back. And um, there. So it's it's fairly stiff. Is this is this switch? Let me just turn the gain up a touch. Maybe a bit brighter. Yeah. Okay. So that's over here, and then there's a pull handle here. And oh, hang on a second. And that's got to be out there. And this is the. Um, the transfer retransfer ribbon i think this is the one that that seals it all over and uh it's a thousand transfer and it looks as though half is used when we look at this size of this ribbon and this ribbon so there's probably 500 on there and we have another thousand um ribbon so that's 1500 discs they these can do and i think we've got four uh color color ribbons so you should be able to get your money back off this um, off this kit very, very easily. Anyway, it tells you how to change the ribbons there, and so that goes back in. Slot the this down. This got to be got all the way there, and then this like that. Okay. If the, any of these aren't in the correct position, then you'll get a flashing light on the middle of the um, of the switch. Um, at the front of the of the printer okay so that's that's fine okay I'm gonna pop that it's now um, checking the height of the of the CD uh, writer and now it's checking the height the thermal printer. It wouldn't do this if the door was open, but I've put this in to trick it. It's now going to count how many CDs are in the bins. So it's been started first, and then the server has been started. And then the production system, it loads itself. If you leave it, it will just load. And then as soon as it's loaded, it will then go through this uh, setup procedure. And that's it. We're, um, it knows everything that it needs to know about the system. And uh, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, so... It's downloading the image and um, yeah, putting it into the into the writer. There's the bottleneck for us with the slow CD writer, but you can get them a heck of a lot faster than these nowadays. This is quite an old one. I've set the batch uh, to 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 do four, so that um, you can see how how it uh, uses its time efficiently. Uh, writing the disc and uh, printing the label of the previous one. So we'll just watch it run. Of course, normally you wouldn't be watching it. You would just be letting it get up, go about its business. That's the whole point of having um, this robot.
Thank <laughs> you. 